Imagine a civilization that could harness the power of an entire galaxy, reshaping stars, planets and entire solar systems to suit its needs. A civilization so advanced that it could render its presence invisible to the rest of the universe. This is the captivating realm of the Kardashev scale, a measure of a civilization's technological powers. Join us as we embark on a cosmic journey exploring the immense power of Type 2 and Type 3 civilizations and pondering humanity's place in the vast expanse of the universe. Earth, the cradle of humanity, has witnessed remarkable transformations over the past 200,000 years. Our entire existence represents a mere fraction of the universe's 13.7 billion year timeline. Yet, in that time, we have achieved extraordinary feats. From humble beginnings as hunter-gatherers, we have conquered the entire planet and have even landed on our closest cosmic neighbor, all in the equivalent of a blink of a cosmic eye. But how do we measure the progress of our civilization when we do not have others to compare ourselves to? Well, in 1964, Soviet astronomer Nikolai Kardashev presented a groundbreaking concept that would attempt to do just that. He invented the Kardashev scale, which is a method to categorize a civilization's technological advancement based off their energy use. He used energy use as the metric because humankind's progress can be measured very precisely by how much energy we have extracted from our environment and how we have made it usable to do things. As humans, we began by harnessing the concentrated energy from dead plants we dug up from the ground. But as our energy consumption grew, the technical abilities our civilization grew in tandem to create ways to meet those energy demands. Between 1800 and 2015, our population size increased sevenfold and resulted in humanity consuming 25 times more energy. The Kardashev scale consists of three types of civilizations, type 1, 2 and 3. A type 1 civilization can harness and utilize all the available energy of their home planet. This means having the ability to control the host planet entirely. This could include collecting all of the light that falls on the planet, controlling the weather and the climate, and even having the ability to control volcanic eruptions and earthquakes. Having defined a Type 1 civilization, it is clear that humankind is not yet at that level. To find out where we reside on the Kardashev scale, Carl Sagan, an American astronomer, introduced a formula to help define a civilization's Kardashev rating based off the amount of power it uses. According to this formula, our current energy consumption places us in a type zero classification and within that category, we are at approximately 0.72 on the scale. Astronomers' estimates of when we are expected to reach a type one classification are between 100 to 200 years from now. Whenever it happens, becoming a type one civilization would mark a significant milestone for humanity because it would grant us the ability to manipulate our planet's weather and geological composition. Next up in the Kardashev scale is a Type II civilization, also known as a stellar civilization. This type of civilization is able to use all of the available energy of their star and the planetary system. In real terms, this would mean having the ability to control all of the planets in the solar system, including the ability to change their atmospheres, rotations, or positions. Having complete control would also mean creating outposts throughout the system and mining for energy resources on all of the celestial bodies. Type II civilizations possess the capability to control the total energy output of its host star. A way this could be achieved is with a Dyson sphere. This is theorized as a massive hollow megastructure that completely encloses a sun, harnessing its power for the civilization to use. A Type III civilization, a galactic civilization, goes beyond harnessing the energy of a single star. It possesses the ability to control the energy of an entire host galaxy, dwarfing the power of Type II civilizations. With the manipulation of billions of stars, planets and solar systems, they have the ability to reshape systems and control energy at a galactic level. 
they may be able to travel faster than light, understand the mysteries of dark matter, or be able to harness the power of black holes. A Type 3 civilization would exploit all the resources within the galaxy, including starlight and gases transforming them into tools for their civilization's expansion. It is theorized that this immense energy consumption could actually render their entire galaxy seemingly invisible to external observers. A Type 4 civilization was not part of Kardashev's original scale, but has been theorized by astronomers. This type of civilization would be supergalactic, with not only the ability to manipulate one galaxy, but multiple galaxies. They would have the ability to travel throughout the universe and harness its energy for their needs. At our level of evolution, we cannot comprehend the beings that could exist within this type of civilization. And in the same way that a spider cannot understand a human, we would more than likely be insignificant to them. As we contemplate our journey from humble origins towards becoming a Type 1 civilization, we realize the immense timescales required to reach the next stages. Even with that known, our ever-evolving understanding of the universe and our drive to learn more continues to push us ever closer to unveiling the secrets of advanced civilizations. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our other exciting content on the screen. Thank you for watching.